May 17th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Hope everybody's doing well today. And we're going to start in Fukushima for what it's worth. Situation update number 112, RSOE. Japanese officials have found an Olympic sized swimming pool pond of radioactive water in the basement of a unit at the Fukushima nuclear plant crippled by the March earthquake and tsunami. The discovery has forced officials to abandon their original plan to bring the number one reactor under control. Now they will focus on how to deal with the rising pool that some experts see as a threat to groundwater and the Pacific coast. Despite the setback, safety officials and the plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power, hope to stabilize the plant by January. Who are they kidding? They need to pull their head out of their proverbial butt very quickly or somebody needs to take it right out of their hands and, and take over because these morons are, are completely dropping the ball. And Anyway, let's go to scott.net. Canada, Alberta town burns, wildfires shut oil facilities. Wildfires whipped by high winds destroyed more than a third of a sizable town in northern Alberta. Um, Slave Lake, I believe, Slave Lake, Canada, and forced oil companies in Canada's largest energy producing province to shut off tens of thousands of barrels of output on Monday. Now, these are the fires. Dozens of forced Fires flared up across the province during the dry, gusty weekend, forcing the evacuation of several communities, including Slave Lake, a town of 10,000 people in northern Alberta, known as Center for Oil, Gas, and Forestry. And the story goes on, of course, and I was watching some films where um, the firefighters weren't even bothering to fight the fire. They were uh, just getting everybody out of town real quick, and then they sent in a bunch of different units from uh, other places and they ended up losing like 40% of this town. Um, just some crazy videos going on out there. I will attach one or two below, I'm sure. Austria, Europe, tornado ravages uh, Mullendorf. I'm sure I mispronounced that. An 80 meter wide tornado front leaves shambles <coughs> uh, near a town in Austria. And they've been having some severe weather, of course, and tornadoes is not an everyday thing in Europe. And um, definitely something to pay attention to. You know, they had the snap trees, the normal tornado damage here, uh, us in the United States and the Midwest are, are very accustomed to. U.S. five injured when whale watch boat hit by rogue wave off Provincetown. And I guess a rogue wave <clears throat> sank a boat, hurt some people. Thousand Flea Town on fire in Canada, and that's the Slave Lake, Alberta story. Winter comes early as Melbourne is hit by chilly blast, Australia. Melbournians have been swamped with enough rain in the past two weeks to last a, the month of May, and is more is yet to come. Other parts of the state have seen their coldest start to May since the records began, with, snowy already fall, with snow already fall, falling in low-lying areas. Heavy rains falling across Africa. Above average rainfall has been falling in many parts of sub-Saharan African region since 2010, including countries like Angola, Nambian, Tanzania, Cameroon, Congo, and Madagascar. Uh, the data comes from Climate Prediction Center of the U.S. National Weather Service, which noted large rainfalls in some places exceeded the yearly average in a single day. And again, they are not exempt from the crazy weather. And I remember reporting not too long ago, uh, Somalia having torrential rain and flooding, um, bringing an end to their uh, super drought that's been going on. Uh, Earth currently in a solar wind stream. Well, no kidding. Uh, yeah, we're in the wind stream of a coronal hole. A snow foreca forecast leads some to hope it's all a joke in California. Tour of California says Sierra snow could cause crashes on Sunday. Lake Tahoe, California. Don't put your snow shovels away just yet. 
Uh, the latest forecast is predicting three inches of snow at lake level in Tahoe Basin this weekend. So winter is not giving up by any means whatsoever. And, and again, with all the fallout in the air, um, it is causing just, cra just crazy weather. And if you understand the... Um, the process it takes for clouds to form, you know, the pollution and the moisture and the and the pressure and all that stuff that uh, we are in for some serious, serious weather. U.S. walls at Vicksburg strain as Mississippi River tops record. Uh, Vicksburg, Mississippi, uh, the temporary walls erected at Vicksburg to hold back floodwaters were, were under fresh strain on Sunday as the Mississippi water levels set new records. Uh, Vicksburg 56.48 feet on Sunday more than an inch above the record set in 1927 and again Japan widens the evacuation zone around the Fukushima nuclear power plant uh, basically they lied about the amount of radiation leaking and the extent of the damage to the nuclear power plant to the people because they didn't want to create panic and um, they can't they can't hide it anymore. Uh, it, it is worse than we can all possibly imagine. I am totally sure. Over to the extinction protocol. Surprise snow blankets northeast Turkey as temperatures soar across the rest of the country. Istanbul, a blanket of snow has covered the eastern province of Ardahan in mid-May as temperatures continue to rise in the rest of the country. Heavy rainfall turned into snow late Sunday through Monday morning. Residents of the province were surprised to wake up to a snowy day in the middle of May. No kidding. A time when many expect spring to arrive. The provincial capital saw 5 centimeters of snowfall and registered a low of 0 degrees Celsius. And the story goes on about the severe weather, of course. Uh, Philippine Bulazan volcano on the brink, question mark. 144 quakes in the last 24 hours. I've been reporting on this volcano for a while. It is, it's acting like it's going to pop. Northern India bakes in sweltering temperatures of 46 degrees Celsius. For us Americans, that is 114 degrees Fahrenheit. And, uh... New Delhi toward weather continued to bake North Indian plains as mercury soared to over 46 degrees centigrade in parts of uh, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh while it remained above 40 degrees Celsius in the national capital. Um, definitely above normal. And the heat continued, blah, blah, blah. Jamaica rocked by second moderate quake in 10 days. Um, 4.7 this time. Residents watch in horror as Alberta, Canada, as town in Alberta, Canada is engulfed by wildfires. And again, this is the Slave Lake fire um, where <clears throat> they have um, videos, of course, where they lost up to 40% of the town, town to, um, to wildfires. Washout and landslide at railroad in Ontario. Um, video attached landslide and washout at Macmillan Yard in Vaughan, Ontario contributed Okay, they got a railroader uh, videotaped some landslides and stuff. Tension seen along Cascadian subduction zone in the latest quake off the coast of Queen Charlotte Island reflects some seismic tension off the Cascadian Fault, which has been showing up since May 11th. And they've got the Austrian um, tornado, of course. <clears throat> Videos of the severe weather. Climate chaos continues across the globe. United Kingdom set for hottest May in 350 years. Heat wave lasting a fortnight is on its way to the United Kingdom as forecasters predict hot weather sweeping in from Europe. Despite cooler conditions that are expected this week, this month looks to be set to be the hottest May since records began 353 years ago. 
again extreme weather changes and they're not really sure about that because uh, nobody's taken into effect all this radiation in the damn air. Uh, here's one for the East Watch. Report shows several rabbit species under threat of extinction. Uh, this is a global warming um, study piece. One fifth of all vertebrate species worldwide are threatened with extinction, and many have undergone declines. Several rabbit species also face similar circumstances and become increasingly threatened with habitat loss. Um, don't you have bunnies galore up there in New York? They're East Watch. <laughs> Over to the RSOE, um, got a lot of things going on, of course the wildfires in um, Canada, uh, fires in Russia, Filipino, uh, Bulizan Volcano in the Philippines, snowstorm in Squaw Valley, uh, California, flash flood in uh, Hunting Huntington County, Indiana. Uh, they had five inches of rain in a short amount of time. Um, several houses got flooded out, and that is in the Ohio Valley, which is part of the Mississippi, and that's an ongoing flooding system uh, with the weather still continuing here in the United States. Uh, flash flood in Columbia, and they've been having ongoing problems for just seems like forever. Um, more torrential rains, some um, property loss, the works. Storm surge, state of Western Australia, the Perth region. <clears throat> They're staying um, due to the La Nina conditions. It's like five centimeters higher than normal. And there's a big storm out to sea, and there's an extra five centimeters on top of that. So they're having unusually high tides uh, for the next week or so, they're talking about, in Australia. And what else? Volcano activity out of Japan. Mount Aso Volcano, um, small eruptions are taking place. They're take, telling everybody to stay a kilometer away from the place because um, they're not sure what's going on with it. Uh, it's definitely getting active. <clears throat> and forest fires in the state of Arizona, in the Coronado National Forest, and of course the flooding in Louisiana of record historic proportions. And finally tonight, um, this isn't something I normally cover, but since the Watchers has got it up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, touch base on it. Uh, feel free to do your homework. It's just as, as insane as what's going on everywhere. Story. Hemp oil cures cancer. Run from the cure. The Rick Simpson story video. I'll, I will attach the link below to this, of course. The cure for cancer, anxiety, arthritis, asthma, burns, chronic pain, depression, diabetes, diarrhea, glaucoma, scar tissue, skin allergies, ulcers, snoring, and many, many more. After a serious uh, head injury in 1997, Rick Simpson sought relief from medical condition through the use of me medical hemp oil, cannabis oil, or marijuana oil. When Rick discovered that hemp oil, with its concentration of THC, cured cancers and other illnesses. He tried to share it with as many people as possible, but obviously he got shut down. Uh, again, the links below. Insane. Uh, new maps of Mississippi River. Uh, Atchafalaya River estimated flooding released by the Corps of Engineers. And two small islands have sunk into the sea between India and Sri Lanka. And they've got another study, Tylenol and Cetaminophen linked to causing blood cancer. So Tylenol is not good for you. That is about all I have for you tonight. Again, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or post your videos below. Uh, thanks for all your help. Enjoy while you can. I'll see you next time.